We get asked a lot how we handle things like Slack communication and email in our business. The truth is we do very little, if any, email communication amongst our team members and Slack is pretty much just for fun. So how do we actually handle internal communication? It all happens inside of Notion. This week, I wanna introduce you to the Tensions database. It's a place to store things that aren't quite a task. It can help you move communication out of email and Slack where things can tend to get lost. Tensions aren't necessarily good or bad, they're just things that need to be dealt with or resolved. If you're familiar with the EOS framework, it's basically the equivalent of issues. Now, things that might go into a tensions database instead of your task database, things that might require a team discussion, input from another team member, things that might require a little bit more information before a decision can be made or before you can move forward, a suggestion for a new project or a new outcome, and just things you want your other team members to be aware of that don't necessarily require a next action, and basically anything that's just a heads up for other team members. So how does this tensions database work and how does it integrate with the actions database? I'm gonna jump into a sample dashboard and show you how it can work. So here I am on my today page. I've got a simple actions database on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you'll see I've got this little tensions area. Now you'll notice these databases don't have their names showing. I like to hide them just to kind of keep the look and feel really clean, but I'll show you the database title just so you can see what that looks like. So this is the tensions database in a simple list view. And I'm filtering this to show me anything that is not resolved yet status is not resolved. So let me show you what one of these looks like. This is obviously just a sample tension. Hey, should we do this thing instead of this other thing? And by default, as part of our default template, the status is always not started. And I can assign an owner to this. I can say, I want Ben to take a look at that. And we've got a number of different types here. And this just helps us kind of sort and organize so that we understand what the person posting this tension is asking us to do. So in some cases, for example, it might just be, I just want to request a space to share this thing. Just wanted to give you a heads up. I'm going on vacation next week, whatever it is. And that's just one simple way to categorize the action. So in this case, for example, I'm requesting that we maybe take a different direction and change an outcome or a project. And I can tag multiple team members, just a single team member, assign it a date. Uh, and this can be helpful too if you kind of need a response by a certain date and you can turn on reminders for that as well. So I'll say on the day of event, make sure that Ben gets a reminder for that. And a URL if there's something relevant, it could be a link to an email thread or a website, anything like that and the created at and updated at, which are automatically timestamped by Notion. So it's a super simple database. The only other thing that we have here is a relation to our actions database. So if I click on here, you can see, okay, actions, that's a link to our database over here. Now, generally speaking, the idea is to solve this using this database. So we can add comments here, comments in the body, we can engage in dialogue, and we'll move that to in progress when we're doing that. Now there isn't always necessarily a next step, but if there is, maybe there's somebody to follow up with, maybe there's, uh, you know, we're canceling an account or something like that. We can click here and say, cancel that account. And that's just gonna get added to our actions database. And we can call that resolved. So the idea is as soon as we assign a next action to this tension, we can mark that as resolved and it's time to move on. I'm gonna mark this as resolved close that up and you'll see now there's only one tension showing. So I like to include the tensions database on my main dashboard, whatever the dashboard is that you tend to use day to day. It's just something that is always there. It's always going to pop up in case a team member does add attention. And it's one way to avoid having a lot of direct messages, emails, etc. So we basically use Slack as a place to be a little bit more fun. We post photos of our pets, we post uh, interesting topics, things that aren't really tasks. So anything that is action oriented or needs a discussion, we tend to move it into Notion as soon as possible. And that way we have a record of it. We know when that tension was brought up, whether there was a next action, how long it took us to resolve it, who resolved it, etc. So it's been a really handy way that our team can keep on top of some of these things that might pop up and that might prevent us from moving forward. But this is a really handy way to make sure that you've got this stuff documented. It's not getting lost across a number of different channels. Everything's getting streamlined. It's not related to too many databases, so it really doesn't require too much maintenance. 
other than the connection to your next actions database, which of course you can always just add tasks as you go here. But it's just nice to have that place to make sure that something got recorded, someone added a next action, we can mark that as resolved and we can go about our day. I'll just show you what some of the tensions look like from the last week. Things like, how should I reply to this request? Can I get input on how to reply to this student? A lot of these are actually requests from students or other organizations wanting to work together in some way. And we might need another piece of information or a confirmation or someone on the team to make sure to give input on something before one of our team members writes a reply. We do our best to answer these within, you know, 24 to 48 hours of them being posted. And then we can continue along with our day. So that's it. It's a really simple database. It really helps us streamline our communication and make sure that things don't get lost in Slack. They don't get lost in email. As a team, we do not use email to communicate with each other whatsoever. We are pretty much always documenting and putting our concerns inside the tensions database. And Slack is pretty much for slacking. It's just for having a little bit of fun. We find as a team, it's too easy for important things to get lost inside of a Slack discussion. So if we happen to be in there in real time and we just want to share stuff, it tends to be a little bit more like, hey, this is what's going on. It's not really deep discussions about what needs to happen regarding a project. We tend to get that into Notion as soon as possible, and it has made for really streamlined projects. There's lots of different ways that you can use a database like this to kind of help you for things that they're just not quite a task yet. They might just need a little bit of input before you can move forward with a task. So I hope this is helpful. It's definitely really helped our team since we've implemented it. We've probably been using it for the last year or so, and uh, it's really helped streamline our communication. That's all for this week, and I'll see you next time.